Hello friends, uh, here once again we got a, another problem of finding derivative using the product rule right question is already saying we have to use product rule okay so we have to assume that this is my uh, actually given function it is and here I'm going to imagine this is my first function let me suppose u and this is my second function let me suppose v and we know the formula of product rule like if you have to find out the uh, derivative of the product of two functions that is u and v uh, with respect to some other uh, something like with respect to x then the derivative of u dot v or u multiply v will be right first first function times derivative of second function again second function you have to write and then derivative of first function so this is my product rule and using this rule we are going to solve this one all right so here my given function is let me first write this is 3x to the power 4 plus 5 times 4x to the power 5 minus 3 all right now so i'm going to differentiate both sides with, with respect to x so therefore it will be dy by dx or simply you can say derivative of the function y is equal with now c i'm going to write first first function yeah right this is actually uh, this as i have imagined this is my u right this part is my u and this part is my function v okay so now let's write first i have to write first function 3x for oh shit the bad handwriting well i write here first function times derivative of the second function and this is my second function 4x to the power 5 minus 3 over dx i finished my first part i am done with this thing now let's talk about this one okay so plus i need to write now second function first right second function is my this i'm going to write this part first here so it will be 4x to the power 5 minus 3 and then times derivative of the first function right so d over dx of first function that is 3x to the power 4 plus 5 all right now let's solve it so I'm going to get uh, see here as it is I'm going to write first this one 3x to the power 4 plus 5 all right and now I need to find out derivative of this one and then this one so since here 4 is a constant quantity so I'm writing first 4 as it is and x to the power 5 it is right so here I'm going to use power rule I hope you know the power rule so first I have to write the power times the base and in the power of the base I have to just uh, subtract one whatever initially we had the power is getting reduced by minus uh, is getting reduced by one all right and then minus derivative of this three derivative is a constant quantity sorry three is a constant quantity and that's why the derivative of the constant quantity is zero all right and now let's talk about this part so here uh, as it is first let me write four x to the power five minus three right times now derivative of 3 times x to the power 4 and then 5 we have to write separately okay so here 3 is a coefficient so I'm just writing outside first and derivative of the uh, let me take inside the bracket yeah derivative of x to the power 4 I need to find out and then therefore 4 power first and then base and in the power of the base 1 will be reduced 4 minus 1 and then derivative of the 5 that's a constant quantity that is 0 okay so here now 3x to the power 4 plus 5 now 4 times 5 20 20 times x to the power 4 and then again plus 4x to the power 5 minus 3 and then times 4 times 3 that is 12 and x to the power 3 here we are right uh, this is actually dy over dx dy over dx right now uh, well you can take something common you can multiply whatever you want to do uh, we can right mm, but we're getting some good common so let's first take out some common here x to the power 4 it is and 12 it is so here we are going to take the common first x to the power 3 all right from here and from here I'm taking x to the power 3 common and 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 here I can take 2 common also so I'll be left with in the bracket 
2 I have already taken common so it will be 10x in the bracket again this whole quantity 3x plus 3x to the power 4 plus 5 and then here I have already taken 2 common so I'll be left with 2 and x cube has uh, sorry I'll be left with 6 and here x cube has already come outside so 6 will be left here and then I'll be left with 4x to the power 5 minus 3 all right so uh, if you want then you can further uh, multiply and get it all right 2x to the power cube now 10x is going to multiply 3x to the power 4 so I'll be left with now 10 3 is a 30 x to the power 5 and then 10x times 5 that will be 50x and then again 6 times 4 that will be 24 x to the power 5 and minus 6 times 3 that will be minus 18 all right and now here we're going to get 2x to the power 3 and here we are getting some relationship 30x to the power 5 and 24x to the power 5 so we can write now here uh, 54x to the power 5 and then again 50x minus 18 all right well 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 we're getting one more thing common here 54 50 and 18 so we can take two common so we'll be left with 4x cube and when 2 is coming outside it will be 27 x to the power 5 and 25 x minus 9 right and this is our derivative and here we are done like this we need to find out the derivative using the product rule and here as I have already mentioned uh, you can individually also find out but uh, you know I think product rule is the best here I mean the most appropriate here there are other methods also to find out uh, you might have uh, seen many many uh, you might have done or like uh, previously we are coming right uh, like simply uh, like you can uh, you can first like uh, multiply this 3x to the power 4 to 4x to the power 5 and then and then again by this 3x to the power 4 you can multiply minus 3 and again by 5 you can multiply 4x to the power 5 and again you can multiply this to the minus 3 and you'll get a, 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 a kind of equation you'll get right and there you can use simply simple power rule and then again 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 you'll come to the same here right so there are many methods to solve but the question is saying to solve this problem with the power rule so that's why I try to solve this using power rule and I hope you're getting more and more concept uh, of using power uh, sorry product rule the question is saying to use product rule I'm sorry well uh, I hope you can understand uh, my English is really bad well goodbye we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye